congregation may be seated. And we invite forward the young people of our congregation for our children's message, as well as those who are joining us online. Well, good morning, all. It is great to see you here. How many of you guys are getting ready for Christmas? Any of you guys? Yeah? Maybe getting the house all decorated and ready, maybe making cookies or other things. See, I've been getting prepared for Christmas, and it's made me stop and think about all of the preparations that are there. See, the fact is, is that sometimes things don't always go as planned, right? See, we've been putting lights up in our house and around our house, and you want to know what? This strand, as much as I'm prepared to put it up, only half of it lights up. <laughs> Is that then there's that fact of though we might be ready to wrap some gifts and I make sure that we have plenty of wrapping paper, I buy it half price after Christmas for the next year. And so we've got plenty, but I don't have any tape right now to go ahead and wrap those gifts. Is that certainly those very ornaments are up on the tree, but where in the world is the star for the top? I mean, it's one of those things that for all of those things that we prepare and get ready, how well does it sound like things are going? <laughs> See, sometimes our preparations don't quite go the way that we expect. See, today in our readings, we hear that very word and reminder of John the Baptist as it says, prepare the way of the Lord. But does God wait for us to have everything all done? Does God wait for us to get everything done just right? That does God wait for us to do our part before he does his? No, what does the Bible say? That while we were still sinners and enemies of God, he sent his only son that our preparations may never be fully ready or done, but that doesn't mean that God isn't preparing for every one of you. That today we celebrate that our God is one who is living and active and that he is the one who is doing all of the things necessary to prepare us for that day that Jesus shall come. And so let us pray this day that God would work in us and through us and get us ready for that day that Jesus shall come. So let's fold those hands, close those eyes, and let's go ahead and say our prayer. That dear Father, we pray that you would work in us by your Spirit. Help us be prepared and ready for your Son when he shall come again. Not just when we celebrate Christmas, but on that day when Jesus shall return and restore this very broken creation. Is that though we may not always be ready and prepared, is that we know that he has done everything necessary to make us ready for you. All this we pray in his name and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. 